Hello everyone, and welcome back to part two of paper two of lower secondary checkpoint mathematics written in April 2024. Question nine. Yuri enlarges square A, B, C, D by a scale factor of two. Then point A does not move when the square is enlarged. So this is a fixed point here. Then draw a ring around the coordinates of the center of enlargement. Okay, so for this not to move at all, okay, so the implication is that uh, this is uh, the point of enlargement, center of enlargement. Okay, so that will be 2, comma 2. So for this one now, it will be enlarged like this, like uh, to enlarge point uh, D. So it will be, uh, let's say, 1, 2, then 2 multiplied by 2, that will be 4. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Then from there, this will be 2. So you count 4 up. 1, 2, 3, 4. So this will also be 4, 1, 2. So point um, B will surely move because you have 1, 2 here. So it needs to be 4. So it will be 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so that is this is the center of enlargement. So that will be two comma two. So that is x equals to two, y equals to two. So let's circle this. Then the next question, question ten. The diagram shows a solid metal cylinder with a radius of four point one centimeters and a height of seven centimeters. So the cylinder is melted and the metal is made into uh, cubes. So the side length of each cube is um, two centimeters. Calculate the number of whole cubes that are made. So when this, uh, you need to firstly calculate the volume of this cylinder. Okay. So once you get the volume of this cylinder, then we we'll, uh, calculate the volume of uh, one cube. Okay. So if you divide the volume of this cylinder by the volume of a cube so that will tell us the number of uh, whole cubes that can be formed okay so let's go down and do the work in here okay we can start from here so from the given parameters so the radius r equals to 4.1 so the height is equals to 7 centimeters okay so we can take the value of pi to be equals to 3.14 Okay, so the volume of a cylinder will be uh, the base area times height. The base area is area of a circle. So that is, uh, okay, volume V is equals to the base area is area of a circle by R squared multiplied by the height H. So the volume of a cylinder is by R square H. So let's get in the values. So this will be 3.14 times uh, radius, 4.1 squared times the height which is seven centimeters. So if you do this, so the volume of the um, cylinder should be 369. You can input this into your calculator. Okay, 0.48 centimeter cube. Then the volume, okay, of the cube equals to L cube as the, as the size are equal. So that will be uh, two to the power of three. So this will be equals to eight centimeter cube two times two times two okay so the number of whole cubes that could be formed let's say n now be equals to three six nine point four eight the volume of the cylinder divided by the volume of the cube so that's eight so this will give us 46 uh, cubes so let's write 46 here so let's go to the next question so that will be question 11 okay so the pie chart shows information about the different types of pizzas sold in a restaurant so you have them like this a total of 324 pizzas are sold so mia says 20 more cheese pizzas are sold and meat pizzas take this sign to show if mia is correct or not correct so you must show your working okay so what we need to do so firstly calculate the number of uh, cheese uh, pizza and meat pizza uh, pizzas respectively okay so you can do this if you want to calculate the angle okay the sectorial angle this is the formula so the sectorial angle okay let's say 
this sector here angle okay so will be equals to let's say the number of uh, pixels over the total okay so multiply by 360 okay so let's say um okay n for the number of a specific pizza okay pizza okay over uh, the total okay then times 360 degrees okay so now for the cheese pizza so cheese pizza where is the symbol cheese cheese okay this is for cheese c okay so and if you look at it it is 60 degrees so you can say 60 is equals to the number okay so let's say cheese okay c for cheese pizza over the total which is 300 and 24 324 multiply by 360 degrees so if you cross multiply you see that we're going to have uh 360 multiplied by c that's for cheese pizza so equals to 60 times 324 so finally the number of cheese uh, pizza will be equals to 60 times 324 divided by 360 and if you input this into your calculator so the number of cheese pizza should be equals to 54. So we can use uh, this same method from here, okay, to get the number of uh, meat pizza, okay. So M for meat pizza should be equals to the 60 degrees here for the cheese and uh, for the meat. So look at the symbol of the meat, this one here, M. So this is for the meat, it is 40. So it will be 40 multiplied by the total number of pizza, that is 324. Okay, 324 then divided by 360 degrees so we follow uh, the pattern here for cheese okay so that is what i did so instead of starting from the beginning again you can easily get your answer like this so if you input this into your calculator so you should get the value of the meat pizza to be equals to 36 degrees okay so mia says that 20 more cheese pizzas are sold than meat pizzas okay so let's see the difference now so if you see c minus m that is the cheese pizza minus the meat pizza so this should give you uh, 54 minus 36 and the answer is equals to 18 so it's not up to 20. so that means we only have uh, 18 more cheese pizzas than meat pizzas so mia is not correct so just take this one as it is incorrect so let's go to the next question that will be question 12. The diagram shows uh, a right angled triangle. Find an expression in terms of y for the area of the triangle. So the area of a triangle is given as the base times the height divided by 2. So, okay, so in this case, the base is y, the height is y and over 2. So you have y squared over 2. So let's go down and write our answer here. So you have y squared over 2. Then question 13, the polygon has seven sides, the sizes, the sizes of the six largest interior angles of the polygon add up to 855, okay, calculate the size of the smallest interior angle. So we already know that uh, N is equals to 7, that's the number of the sides of the polygon, and we've been told that, uh, let's write the sum of the largest the sum of the largest uh, six angles okay equals to 855 so what we need to do is to calculate the sum of the seven interior angles of the polygon okay they will subtract it from this to get uh, the value or the size of the smallest interior angle Okay, so sum of interior angles of any polygon is given as n minus 2, okay, multiplied by 180 degrees. In this case, n is equals to 2. I have 7 minus 2 into 180 degrees. We have 5 into 180 degrees. And this will give us 900 degrees, okay? So that's sum of all the 7. So out of these 7, okay, the, largest, the sum of the largest 6 angles is given as 855. So the implication is that uh, the size of the smallest one now, okay, so the smallest angle will be equal to 900 degrees minus 855 degrees, and this gives 45 degrees, so we have 45 degrees here, 
okay so let's go to the next question question 14 so we have to solve 56 divided by y plus 1 equals to 8 so this one is like over 1 you can cross multiply so if you cross multiply this multiply by this so you have 8 into y plus 1 then equals to 56 times 1 which is 56 okay so let's expand this bracket you have 8y plus 8 equals to 56 so if you collect like times this one comes here and becomes uh, negative 8 so you have 8y to be equals to 56 minus 8 then 8y should be equals to 48 so if you divide both sides by 8 okay so y will be left here then equals to 6 as 6 times 8 gives uh, 48 okay so that means the value of y is equals to 6 so let's go to the next question question 15 the graph shows the exchange uh, rate between us dollars and the Japanese yen okay so angelic changes uh, $40 into Japanese yen so we are asked to calculate how many Japanese yen angelic uh, receives okay so we can do something like this so the ratio of the dollars to the uh, Japanese yen okay so look at this point here it means this is the x coordinate and that is where you have US dollars that is the x coordinate so that means when you have 25 uh, US dollars so the corresponding value okay is this y value which is 3300 uh, Japanese yen here okay so that will be 3300 zero, zero. so we need to get the value of one dollar so for us to have one dollar here so that means we need to divide 25 by 25 of course we must do the same thing to this side so we have to divide by 25 so if you input this into a calculator so 3300 divided by 25 so that will give you 132 uh, japanese yen so now since we know the value of uh, the uh, value of one dollar in japanese yen so it's easy to get 40 the value of 40 dollars so from one we want to get forty dollars so we have to multiply by forty of course we need to do the same thing okay by the right hand side multiply by forty so a hundred and thirty two multiply by forty will give you five thousand two hundred and eighty so that means forty us dollars uh, will give us five thousand two hundred and eighty japanese here yeah? so five two eight zero so let's go to question sixteen okay so the triangle a b c is translated by this vector to make triangle d e f then triangle d e f is translated by this vector okay to make triangle g h i so describe fully single transformation that maps triangle a b c onto triangle uh, g h i okay so if you look at this this is uh, very uh, simple so that is from a b c to this g h i okay so of course the name of the transformation remains uh, translation so we write translation okay so we need to get the vector now okay but if you look at the first one Okay, so let me just show us what we have here. Okay, for the first one, this is A, A, B, C. Okay, so the translation was done like this. So that means you move forward two times for each of the points. Okay, so one, then two. Okay, and you come down once. Sorry, you go up once because this is positive one. So let's write here. So let's see one one so you go you move forward twice then you go up once so this is for uh abc transition of abc to def then so the object will be somewhere around here now okay so for you to let's roll up a little bit so the object will be around here now so this is where you have def now for instance so let's say d okay you have E F now okay so this D E F now 
okay so we will now be translated again using this vector minus three uh, and seven so minus three it means you have to come back like this one two three okay so that is it and then you have seven so you go up seven times okay so you go up seven times okay so what is happening here is that this one started from let's say from zero for instance now so you move two times one two okay then you go up once so that is for abc to def now for def to ghi now so that means you have to go back three times like one two okay will be here then it will go beyond this by one that is three so this is like negative one okay so then uh, don't forget that from here you already have the distance to be one up okay so and we're not going seven times uh, up again okay so that will be one plus seven that will be eight so that means you're going up eight times so from here okay so the distance is already one so if you now count seven again so it will go up eight times all together okay so now for the y value so it will be eight for the x it will just be minus one so to cut it short what you can do is to add these together so you can say uh, two add minus three that is the x values you add them together and then you can say uh, one plus seven okay so and this will give you uh, minus one of course it will go beyond the starting point okay by one so that is minus one and it continues to go up okay, that will be eight so you're going to have my vector okay so by the vector so minus one against eight minus one against eight that is x equals minus one and y is equals to eight okay so this is the last section in and this is the last question in part two so in part three we're going to solve the remaining questions from uh, 17 to 26 until then have your fingers crossed